Hello everyone and welcome to Fortify, a program which you can use to plan your base ahead of time. Today I will be guiding you through the basics and telling you a little bit more about the Steam release of this program. My name is Syntax and I've been beta testing Fortify since its 1.3 release and I can tell you our good developer friend does not disappoint. He has been working hard to bring in this 1.5 release and Fortify is now better than ever. Let's start with the basics. Fortify lets you plan your rust base ahead of time, giving you the option to place foundations and build from there, just like in the real game. Let's talk about the camera movement. The controls are almost the same as they are in rust. To go forwards, backwards, left or right, use your W ASD keys. To look around, hold your right mouse button and move your mouse around, and holding shift will make you fly faster. Also, pressing space will make you fly upwards, and holding control will make you fly downwards. Fortify has a few shortcut keys you can use to make the program easier and quicker to use. Pressing 1 will select foundations, pressing 2 will select the floors option, pressing 3 will select walls, 4 will select U-shaped stairways, and finally pressing 5 will select pillars. Another one of these amazing shortcuts is Tab. Tab is used to switch between building mode and placing mode. In the placing mode you will find various items, such as cupboards, sleeping bags, beds, repair benches, research tables, large and small boxes, large and small furnaces, the oil refinery, external gates and walls, metal barricades, stone barriers, and even the new sentries. The cupboards also have an option to show their effective block radius, which will come in handy now you can't place another cupboard within this range. To place these building parts, click the left mouse button. If you don't want to place your foundations one by one, you can also hold left click and drag your mouse around. Doing this will auto place the foundations wherever your mouse pointer goes, making the process way faster. Using your mouse wheel and Q and E, you can rotate your object around. The new edit mode brings a lot of new options, such as a new auto honeycomb system and an automatic outer wall placer. In the edit menu, you will also find two copy functions. Copy floor gives you the ability to copy a whole floor, placing an identical copy on top of it. Copy structure will copy all you have selected at that moment and make you able to place it somewhere else. A new thing that was added in Fortify 1.5 is the resource counter. This used to be one of the most requested features and it has finally been implemented into the final version. The resource counter will do exactly what it is supposed to do. It tells you how much resources you need to build your structure, no matter if you want it to be twig or armoured. You can save your base design by pressing the menu button in the top left, naming it, and then pressing the save button. Fortify is now up on Steam Greenlight, so make sure to go to the description of this video and upvote it so the developer can put it on Steam. That's pretty much it for this preview video. I hope you guys will make some amazing bases and make sure to post them on Reddit so we can all admire them. My name is Syntax. I hope you enjoyed this little preview, and I will see you guys later.